Hey. Yeah, I thought our, our quarterback was outstanding. Caden has been really good um, all year with reads and, uh, you know, maybe not always making the right read, but just managing the game. You know, I don't. I think our only turnover was on the kick return. Um, and I think out of seven games, we only have three turnovers this year. And I think, you know, run an option where you're pulling and maybe giving, I think that's tough to do. And I'm just so proud of, and up front, I thought up front, uh, you know, we had to go some heavy sets and Sear went out. We had some other backs have to come in and make plays, but I, I'm just proud of our offense as a whole. And I thought Caden was, was just a great trigger man tonight. You lost sincere uh, early second quarter. He came back, though. How's he doing? He's okay? Yeah, I think so. You know, he, he shows, I mean, he's a little banged up. We got to get his ankle healthy, but it was good to see him come back in when it was crunch time. He wanted to be in, and I think that says a lot about him and, and the senior group where, you know, guys will shy away from moments like that. He was hurt, and he wanted that moment. So, uh, you know, we, we got to get healthy, and obviously there's, there's a big one next week. Muskegon. Tell me a little bit about Muskegon. Obviously, you guys are both like, you yeah. know, coming in. Oh, how much time you got? <laughs> the, you know, they're just, uh, they're defending state champs. They haven't lost a game in two years. They're, it's at Hackley Stadium. They're big. Um, they've got a great quarterback. They, he has a great surrounding cast. And I think a lot of times, you know, people don't talk about their defense. I mean, this team just scored 42 points on us. And uh, they only get, you know, Muskegon held them to seven. And so I, I, it's just we've got to play a really, really good game, take care of the football, and, and get, get some help.